So when you find yourself at the heart of a scandal, any scandal really, constituencies matter. And as South Carolina Congressman William Timmons continues to navigate a sex scandal that, again, no one saw coming, that this news outlet had no plans to even address, as he continues to navigate that saga, which is still unspooling up in Greenville, South Carolina, constituencies are going to start mattering more and more to him. Now, Timmons took to conservative talk radio last week to address the scandal in the hopes of addressing core conservative evangelical voters in the Greenville-Spartanburg area. Now, his strategy was pretty simple, slam the media, which I thought was pretty funny because, again, he's the one who put this out in the media. But that's another story. Timmons very quickly lost control of the narrative, though, because as regular readers, viewers, listeners know, last week ended with Ron Rollis seizing the narrative once again, painting a church in Greenville pink prior to an interview, an exclusive interview with me last last Friday afternoon, which delved into his take on the Timmons scandal. Now, Rawless, for those of you who don't know, is the husband of Paula Dyer, the socialite with whom Timmons has been accused of engaging in an extramarital affair. And again, extramarital affairs, are, are they really even news these days? Well, we're, we're finding out that yes, they are. And aside from the fact that Timmons kind of launched this story by issuing a public statement before anyone had even really asked for one, requesting prayers as he and his wife uh, dealt with what they called a difficult marital issue. Beyond that, one of the things that we've noticed is that by district in South Carolina, it, it depends whether or not a sex scandal can ensnare you, can jeopardize your political future. If there is one district in South Carolina, though, where it absolutely will, it is the South Carolina 4th Congressional District. This is a staunchly conservative, staunchly evangelical, social conservative district where folks just look at things differently than, say, uh, Republican voters down in the more, uh, I guess you would say, socially progressive 1st Congressional District or the more socially progressive 7th Congressional District. Again, you can get away with it there, but up in the, in the buckle of the Bible Belt, mm, it's a different story. Anyway, let's talk about those constituencies, though, because one of the constituencies that Timmons is going to need to keep his allies in the congressional delegation. And this news outlet learned today that there could be some cracks in the dam of support for Timmons amongst the South Carolina Republican Gr congressional delegation. Sources have told us that Timmons was called out at a recent prayer breakfast amongst the South Carolina Republican leaders uh, for not seeking forgiveness and not fully explaining this affair allegation. Now, again, does he owe that to them? That's not really for me to say, but if it impacts his ability to work with the other Republicans from South Carolina's congressional district, that is a core constituency for Timmons. And if he alienates them for any reason, justified or not, it could come back to, to, to bite him and come back to harm his constituents by reducing their influence and ability to get things done up in Washington, D.C. So this news out will follow that development very closely. We, we've heard some specific rumors related to how Timmons was called out. Unfortunately, these prayer breakfasts are, are very confidential gatherings, and so a lot of folks who were there are very reticent to talk to us about, us, about what happened, and I respect that. I understand that. There's a, a presumption of confidentiality at, at a prayer gathering, certainly, and, and you know, I understand people not wanting to go into too much detail, but we are going to continue to dig on that to find out the extent of what happened and how it could impact William Timmons' relationships with his congressional counterparts up in Washington. Oh, and one more thing. If you haven't watched the Ron Rawls interview, do yourself a favor. Check it out on FitzNews.com.